Come on, break it loose back here, aren't you? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> oh, stay with it! Come on! Oh. Well, we're heading out to get together with a buddy of mine. His name is, you could guess it, Buck. We're doing some drag racing. He's got a really nice Trans Am that he's had around forever. And I just picked up this Dodge Charger. It's a, it's a, it's a General Lee replica. It's not the General Lee, but it's a replica. It's got a 440 V8 in it. She's putting out some insane horse. And I also have had a, a Trans Am. 1970 Pontiac Trans Am. And Buck thinks his Trans Am can smoke the Charger, but I didn't, I didn't tell him what's under the hood of here. So we're gonna do some drag racing. And then after that, we're probably gonna go just test them. Take some backcountry roads in the good old state of Wyoming. Feels like America, freedom here. You know in Wyoming, they're like the most pro Bitcoin state there is, which is crazy for freedom. It's pretty cool. Of course, we got the Screaming Eagle on the side of the Mac. It's been a while since I've actually drove this truck in farm sim and it feels awesome driving it. I don't have a steering wheel, but gosh darn, the inside's all there. I'm just not used to that with other mods sometimes. And I think, Buck, we're meeting at the local tractor supply. We're gonna park a semi and do some drag racing in the tractor supply parking lot. This is not 1980s, even though I'd love it to be the 80s. This is not. Get around this turn here. Oh. Did he seriously just drive his car here? Hey, you get KFC? No, Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I ain't eating in the car though. Yeah, I was gonna say, you better eat net close to a bathroom. Ooh, wait. I got your truck, don't worry. Pull around in the lot. I'm trying not to hit this dude's car. We'll see here. You're clear, just go straight back. Stop, stop, I don't want you to unload the cars. I'm just getting lined up here. Thousand bucks, huh? Thousand bucks. Sounds about right. You really think the Trans Am could beat the Charger? Yeah. Unlike you, I got a handling package and there's knowledge of how to actually operate a car. Where are we doing it at? I personally don't care. All I know is that uh, we can do it wherever you would like to get your butt whooped. Okay, well, let's go out for a drive. We'll, we'll find a spot and we'll race. All right. I really wouldn't want to do it in town. You got a Formula 400 over there? Yeah, I do. I was gonna actually drive that too. We can we can race both Trans Am. What do you got? Do you got an L67 engine in it? Yeah, mine's got that Ram Air 4 oh, in it. Shoot, that's gonna be that's gonna be close. Mhm. Mm I you might be all you might be a little better off because you got the bigger tires on this one. What is this restored? Okay, so we'll we'll race the Charger and then that and then the Trans Am's after. Oh, oh, never mind. I'm gonna have you in the corners. I got the spoiler. Yeah. Keep up, boy. <laughs> oh shoot! We'll go until we find a straightaway. Sound good, Buck? Sounds good. Handle better. Oh, boy. Holy Toledo! Be more than happy. Right here, right here, boy. For pinks. For pinks. Pinks. Oh boy. Come on. You already had one of these though. <laughs> I need a second. How do you think I got the first one? You remember Someone Jeremy? Someone gave it to you. Yeah, he gave it to you. Don't be trying to tell me that you beat Jeremy out. I know I that guy Jeremy. knows how to tune a car. Yeah. Jeremy knows how to tune a car. You did not beat Jeremy. This has got a 466. You don't, even know how, you, don't even need, you don't even need to know how to tune. 466? Okay, 460. Apparently you do not own cars. Okay, you ready? Should be. Okay, for grand. First round. Where are we going to? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. For grand. Buck, you ready? Probably as ready as I'm ever going to be. You got it. You got the horn. I'm going to let you go on that one since I know I got better starting power. Oh, he beat me off the line. Come on. Come on! Oh, we got smoked! We got smoked! You ready, Buck? Here we go, for a grand. For a grand? Alright. Come on, come on! Oh, I'm oh, in second! We got I'm it! in second! We got it! Yeah! 
fourth. Hard 20. Fuck! Oh, shoot. I missed second. <laughs> ah, it grinded. I threw it. I didn't hit the clutch yet far enough. Oh. Well, hey, we can go double or nothing if you want. Double or nothing? I already beat you once. Okay, well, we're even. We can do it from a roll if you want. You want to do a roll? Oh, boy. Okay. 20 mile an hour roll. Once we hit that sign. Or we can go just third horn, too. No, I say when we hit that sign. That way we know both when we get to it. Okay. And it's on! Let her go! Come on! Oh! Get him on third gear! Come on! Gosh darn it, we got smoked. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Gosh darn, that's a fast car. Okay, Buck, let me get the Trans Am out. It's time. Well, we got the Trans Am now. I hope. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> Buck? I killed it. Hang Here, on. Here's your grand. Oh, there's it. Yep. I mean, that's uh, technically, though, it's a. I don't really know when the Formula 400 <laughs> came out. Holy <laughs> You ready? Probably be as ready as I'll ever be. I know that sucker's got more power than mine. Yeah, but we'll see if I can get to the ground. Here we go. Four grand. Four? All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Come on. Breaking loose back Come there, on. aren't you? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck! <laughs> Stay on her! Yeah. Oh. I hit fourth and it broke loose! You want to do it again on the way back? We'll just we'll, we'll start here and go on the way back? I mean, I guess so. Come on. Come on. Yeah, baby, second gear. Oh, stay with it. Come on. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it just uh, hits fourth and it just loosens it up. I don't know what's going on. We got a new butte, new paint job. L67 manual. It doesn't have a drag tune on it, so it should handle good on the roads. Rear end shouldn't slip out. The gearing just was totally off on the other one. We're going to see what this baby has. Now Buck has a steering wheel, so racing these backcountry roads, he's gonna he's gonna be able to handle it a lot better. Holy crap! Oh god, this is just fun. I don't know if Buck's gonna release these mods or not. <laughs> oh yeah, stay with her. Shortcut! It's not a shortcut! I'll wait up for you. I'm catching you. Oh, 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 oh! Keep her on! Keep her on the road! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah! Do a flip! <laughs> <laughs> stay with her! Oh! Stay with her! Oh, shoot! <laughs> Fourth. One twenty. Third. Oh my god, these handle so good. So this right now is the 1970 Pontiac Firebird, but also has the Trans Am package on it, which is uh, currently has the white fire with the white bird on it with the white stripe. I'm not really sure. It's this and a blue one. Couldn't really get anything else because I had turned the blue one to black and white. But it does have uh, currently on it the arrow packages, we can say it is, with the Pontiac fenders. So nice little body feature. Those are optional on there. You can get the rear wing or like Grant had on that black one. Just the body fenders or nothing on there. On the back, if you have the spoiler, it does give you the Trans Am badging on the rear of the spoilers. So if you don't have that on, you can't see that. A full UDIM light pattern on there, uh, just for the sake of your turn signals. You got left, right, hazards. You're, once you turn it on, you got 
like a full set of lights in the front. All that does work on the inside if you wanted to hop in there, Grant. You turn it on, it's got full working gauges, steering wheel, all your little turn dials work. Uh, for shifter. your turn signals, your, your turn stock, yep, shifter also works. The car has an option uh, for color palette. It's got full outside, but also you can color the inside of the car. It's got three engine options, being the L60, the L74 Ram Air 3, putting out 300 and 350, 335 horsepower, and then it's got the L67 Ram Air 4, which puts out 345 horsepower, and then there's just a drag version of the L67 that puts out 650. Both uh, little, both the L74 and 67 regular put out. Uh, a top speed of 120 while the drag one puts out 180 for top speed all of the engines on this are a manual transmission which is mounted to a four-speed gearbox it does have uh, a few different rim options as well I currently have the stock rims on there with a chrome like decor ring but if you went into the store and you go look at the rims there's a 15 they're all 15 inch rims but you have those, the American Racing Torque Thrusts, as well as 15-inch Kreger SSs. And then I might swap the ones that are on there now. It's a heck of a car, though. It is. Well, thank I, you, I sir. like cruising on it. I like all the manuals, especially just hearing that, that the shifter, when you shift the gears and everything, and seeing it go. I like that. There's not much to this one. It's honestly a fairly bare-bone minimums car. If I do end up releasing it, what I might try and do is to have its brother with it, so it can be a brother combo, being the 70 split bumper Camaro. That'd be cool. Might put it on there and maybe get the full bumper as well, because why not? But I got a Z28 and an SS version of the 70 Camaro, so well, I guess we'll just kind of have to see what it can do with that. That's pretty much it. It's a fairly basic car. Thanks for watching this one. Always do appreciate it. Thanks for Buck for getting the car and stuff, and hopefully we get it released soon. Thanks, guys.